Beard lovers, today is February 20th, 2017. It's also President's Day. Now, it was only a few months ago that we elected our final president, but did you know that there were 44 other presidents and I'm going to list all of them right now in less than 10 seconds. <laughs> Ready? Here goes. Begin. End. Wow, I did it. I'm really fast. Anyway, since today is a national holiday, I'm gonna take the day off, but I'm going to leave you with a couple of my clones, Gary and me. Not me, as in me, his name is me. It's very confusing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go make a president and a bottle of whiskey. Hello, I'm Gary. And I'm me. And today we're talking about myths about presidents. Nice new glasses, Gary. Thank you. Looks like you got some new ones too. They're the same as mine. Yeah, I try to be like you. You're my hero. Really? I'm flattered. As in my hero sandwich. I eat you up and you become a part of me. That, that's unsettling. Anyway, first myth is George Washington's old cherry tree story. Yes, as the story goes, Cut two images. George Washington cut down his dad's prized cherry tree and his dad saw it and was like, hey Georgie, what happened here, my young future president son? And George was off. Hey listen, I can't tell a lie, I totally did it. And his dad was like, "Oh, since you didn't lie about that terrible thing you did, all is forgiven. That's a confused sense of justice, but that's okay, I'll take it. So the lesson here is you can do whatever you want as long as you tell your dad about it. No, the lesson is be honest and George Washington was always awesome. Uh, yes, so true. Except that it's probably false. What? Well, I mean, he might have been awesome, but there's no evidence that that story actually happened. It first appeared in the book, The Life of Washington, the fifth edition, which was written by biographer Mason Locke Weems. <clears throat> so the story isn't all that it <sighs> Weems. Oh God. Right, Gare? Oh, kill me. Right, Gare? Oh, I think I threw up a little bit. Right, Gare? Oh God. Right, Gare? Take me to the hospital. Right, Gare? Stop saying right, Gare. Right, Gare? Please stop that. I can't. Oh. Right, Gare? Myth number two is that Lincoln wrote his famous Gettysburg Address on the back of an envelope on the train on his way to Gettysburg. Not true. He actually wrote versions in D.C. a few weeks earlier and made final changes at a house in Gettysburg. It makes a lot of sense. You ever try writing on the train? I know, right? So bumpy. Plus, people don't like it when you try to use their back as a table. What? Same goes for eating steak. How am I supposed to cut into my nice big beef shank if I have to hold it while cutting? No, I need their back as a surface. Me, what are you- The human back is a nice surface is all I'm saying is all. Why do you think they call them baby back ribs? Uh, because they're- it's Because they're most efficiently eaten off the back of a baby. What are you talking about? I'm talking about nourishment. Myth number three, President William Howard Taft, known for his size, got stuck in the White House bathtub. While he did have a new larger bathtub installed in the White House, seen here with the four guys who delivered it inside of it, there is no evidence that he actually got stuck in the previous bathtub. The story didn't actually surface until two decades after his presidency. I got stuck in the bathtub once. Oh really, this sounds like a great story. I can't wait to hear well, it. Well, I was in the bathtub cleaning my nethers and then whoopsies, I got stuck in the bathtub. You just whoopsiesed over the entire story. Artistic choice, sometimes less is more, Gary. And in my case, I hope so because there's less of me after the bathroom incident, you know what I'm saying? Up top. No. Myth number four, the presidency ages you. Not true. Apparently data shows that two thirds of all presidents lived longer than the national average. Well then how come there's all those before and after photos where in the before picture they're always an immaculate, unsullied newborn infant and then after they're Gollum? Yes, that might be an exaggeration, but stress can cause wrinkles and gray hair. But you know what else causes wrinkles and gray hair? Storing my clothes in a pile where the cat sleeps? Maybe, if your cat's gray. My cat's gray in this scenario. Okay, but also age. Pre an eight year presidency is gonna make you older. Ah uh, yes, father time. She's a cruel beast. He. Your father would be a he. Wow. Sexist. And finally, myth number five. On Independence Day, President Bill Pullman flew a fighter jet leading the military to victory against an alien invasion in 1996. This one's actually true. Yeah, I saw a documentary about it. Me too. Thanks for watching and Merry President's Day. Click here for yesterday's video. Click here to support Weezy Waiter on Patreon and thumbs up if you like me better than Gary. And if you like me better than me, click the thumbs up. And finally, myth number five on Independence Day, Bill Paxton. Sorry. Pullman. Bill Pullman. Did it again. Sorry. I get the bills confused. Uh, Speaking of bills, how much are we getting paid for this? Room and board. Emphasis on the board. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, button up your shirt.